Osteoporosis is a disease that affects more than 2 million Canadians and one in four women over the age of 50 has weakened or thin bones due to bone loss from menopause. In fact, osteoporotic fractures account for more hospital bed days than those for heart attacks, breast cancer or prostate cancer. Dr. Elia Khan, professor of clinical medicine for the divisions of endocrinology and geriatrics at McMaster University, treats patients with osteoporosis in her office every day and says given the devastation the condition causes, all women should get an early start in protecting their bones as good form depends upon a strong foundation. Osteoporosis is a common disease which results in bone weakness and this can result in a fracture with little or with no injury. The fractures that we see with osteoporosis can occur in the spine and the spine fractures can result in a dowager's hump. They can also be fractures of the forearm or of the hip which can have major effects on a person's well-being and quality of life. This debilitating disease can have a significant impact on a patient's everyday life. For Kimberly Selden, renowned interior designer and host of HGTV's Design for Living, watching the disease rob her mother of independence for years was difficult and saddening. I've had personal experience with osteoporosis because my mom had it. And it's a sadly debilitating and very painful illness and it's preventable. The cast was my own attempt to get a feeling for what it would be like to be disabled in some way. I didn't anticipate that even simple things like dialing the phone or sending a message by BlackBerry would be almost impossible to do. And this typifies, I guess in a very small way, what happens to women who fracture bones through osteoporosis. It's advised to get appropriate doses of calcium and vitamin D, stay physically active, consume alcohol in moderation, and not smoke to deter the possible onset of osteoporosis. For some, medical treatment is necessary. However, studies show despite the hindrances caused by the disease, a significant number of women stop taking their medication over time due to side effects and the drawbacks from treatment. We do need more efficient treatment options, and we need options with fewer side effects. Currently we do have good therapies for osteoporosis. A major problem is that a large number of people will actually stop taking their medication. And if we look at two years following prescription, 80% of people actually stop their therapy. If you don't take your medication, it really can't help prevent fractures. Osteoporosis is a treatable disease and new treatments are currently being researched. As medical science makes new developments, women should cautiously take care of the interior design of their body. All women should go and see their doctors and have a conversation about osteoporosis. It's preventable. See what you can do now to prevent it ever happening to you. Learn more on how to manage your bone health by visiting healthandbone.ca.